Well, unfortunately, hoop season is ending, but I'm here with head CMU men's basketball coach Mike DeGeorge. Thanks so much for joining me today. Yeah. I know season's kind of over now, so you have some free time. Well, I, I wish that was the case, but uh, yeah, season's over, moving to recruiting and off season work with the guys and getting camps going. And so, a lot to do, but it's, uh, it's a transitional time for us. And, we're still in a little bit of depressed mode, still right. trying to come out of that from the season ending, but we're getting through it. But a successful season, none to say the least. 19 and 10 your first year and 14 8 conference record. And in your first season, too, overall, how do you think your first season at CMU went? Well, it kind of depends how you look at it. Uh, you know, getting the job as late as we did at, at the end of April, obviously, you got to get a staff in place, you got to get the culture established that you want. We had recruiting to do. And so, um, you know, when you check all of those boxes, our staff, both Kyle Boche and Dutch Johnson, are just a tremendous fit for us. Um, you know, the players really bought into what we were teaching, and we were able to make tremendous strides over the course of the year. And so, all of those things, you know, you just feel really good about uh, the, the forward momentum that we've been able to make. You know, obviously, we feel like we left a little bit on the table. We were a very competitive team. There were four teams in the NCAA tournament that we played, and they all have pretty good seeds. And, you know, we feel like we're very comparable or better than those teams. And so, you know, it, it, with six seniors, you felt like we missed a little bit of an opportunity. Um, but overall, you know, based on where the program's been the last couple of years and what we were able to accomplish, right. we, feel, we would feel really good about the, the progress we made. Yeah, it seems like the last couple of years, the program's been in a little bit of a drought, missing the RMAC tournament, missing the NCAA National Championship. But you made it to the RMAC tournament, and you guys were picked to finish 13th in the preseason polls. Mm -hmm. You end up fifth. Do you see the season as a success or you guys should have done better? Yeah, I would say that, you know, we're never satisfied. So, but, you know, if you'd have told me when I got the job that what you just said, right. we would have been like, we'll take that and let's move <laughs> yeah. on. So we definitely feel good about what we've accomplished. But, you know, we have higher goals and expectations for the program. And so, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we're excited about, about, you know, building on what we've been started this year in the future. Yeah, the future is definitely bright. But reflecting on this past season, what are some of the best moments and some of the worst? Because I know you guys had some highs and lows this year. Yeah. I would say, you know, obviously, if you're just looking at the outcome, the win at Regis was a real meaningful win for us. Very good team. We had a tough loss to them at home, which would be yeah. one of the down points <laughs> of the year. Um, and so to just to respond that way, go on the road, and, and they're a very good program. You know, they, they really performed the best of our league a year, uh, a year ago. So, you know, that was really a really meaningful win. But um, And obviously, the, the losses at home to both uh, – uh, Minds and Regis when we, we were in position to really secure it with just a, um, some solid possessions down the stretch and to let those get away from us were pretty hard. Right. But overall, I think the most memorable thing about this season will just be the seniors and how they bought into uh, what we were trying to teach and just the whole group, how far they came uh, in terms of, of just uh, as a group and, and got connected to each other, really bought into our coaching. And, and so the, that'll be the best memory for me is just you know, just the team dynamic that we were able to create. Yeah, now you got to, you set the ground rules, but what, what are you excited about going forward with this program? Yeah, I just think each year you, you, when you have veteran guys that know what the expectations are, know how we do things, it makes it so much easier for those new guys coming in because there's an example of what to do. So we're really excited about, uh, you know, the veterans that are returning because they have body and they are right. quality people, they are good players. And, and so to have that example of how to do things, uh, I think allows us to hit the ground running with the, this next group coming in. Well, Coach, thank you so much for coming in. And, you know, congratulations on a, such a successful season. We're so happy to have you in the Valley. And, you know, the future years are going to be successful, and we're really looking forward to it. So thanks again. Thank you. Appreciate all, all right. your support. Mike DeGeorge, and you can catch this interview on WesternSilkNow.com.